Assalamualaikum dear researchers today we are going to discuss how to do referencing using endnotes version 20 the desktop version uh, whenever we write a research article research paper or any kind of research work we do we basically refer to the previous literature or existing literature so all these things that you see here which is written as a part of literature review introduction or any part of a research work they are actually referred by the existing literature because even though i have written them in my own words we have to need to rephrase we just cannot copy paste from the existing literature we also need to give the references from where we got this ideas or all those existing theories or research that previous people have discussed we need to refer to them so there are two parts one is the in text citations so as you can see on your screens these things in the bracket the author names and the year these may be some article some book some kind of conference paper so this is the in text citation here and the second part is the list of references that corresponds to these in text citation so these are the details so now there are two parts the in text citation and the list of references and secondly there are different uh, formats for uh, doing the citations or referencing so the one that is in front of you this is basically apa style and we can have other formats as well for example we can have chicago style we can have vancouver harvard and there are lots of referencing styles even uh, some research journals have their own referencing style so all we can do using end notes and we don't have to manually type them so when we install end notes what happens is that uh, a plugin is installed in word automatically and uh, we will use this plugin in, in and we will discuss about in details later on first first let's go to endnote software and see how we can set up our own library so when you start endnote for the first time you install it either you can open an existing library if it's you already have an existing library like i have these lots of libraries that already saved with me but what i will do is i will create a new library give it a name okay let's let it my endnotes library this is just for the demonstration purposes and here you will see that endnotes is open now as you can see this blank area is where all the references that you will import or you will add manually or but the way i will tell you you will add them here these all references will be stored here on the left hand side there are different options for example if you add a new reference Uh, those references will be shown here recently added will be here a trash is also here you can delete the references you can do online search using some existing libraries so let's start with the most popular method to download uh, a new references is using the google scholar so what makes endnotes very handy is that we can download a reference from google scholar let me search a paper like transformational leadership this is this is the area i'm working upon and here you can see that we have option of cite so if we click this cite button we have different styles that we can manually uh, copy and paste and add to our references but below here you can see that there is an option to download and note so click on this option save it anywhere you want it because it will no, of, of no use when we add it to and note and just by clicking this citation that we have downloaded the enw extension you will see that it will be imported into the endnotes library our own endnotes library and now we have one reference secondly what you can do is that you can go to the settings because we have to click on cite you can also go to the setting and down below here you can see that we have show links to import citation into endnote so show links to import citation into endnotes save this and next time you will see that import into endnote button is available over here so if you want to download another citation just click on import save import save now this just click on these because in google uh, in google chrome we just need to click on them and they will automatically add it into and notes library click on the other citation that we have downloaded so the latest citation will be in the imported references but all citations will be in this now we have library of 3 and uh, do we have some kind of overlap no no they are different 
2006, this is 1999, 1999, and let me add other references as well. Another way that we can download a citation is from the articles on directly from the website of the article that very accessible, right? So this is a, an article present in Emerald, and here I will see that uh, there may be some option to download a RIS file uh, somewhere over here. Uh, the citation would be over there. So here, download.ris. Just click on download. Save it. And uh, if I click on this, as you can see, that it will be automatically added to the EndNotes library. Right? And uh, there is actually abstract as well that is uh, added over here. And uh, for all references, we have an extra reference here. So first from Google Scholar and then from directly from the uh, website where the article is present, you may find option to download the citation. So once we have downloaded these references, you can see that we can edit these references as, as well. So on the right hand side, you can see this summary that we have, uh, for example, this is my first reference. So this is a reference type journal article. If you want to change, you can change to any of these options. But most of the time is either journal article or conference paper or a book or a report, etc. The author name we can change over here, the year is mentioned here, the title of the uh, article is mentioned here, the name of the journal, the volume, the issues, the pages, these are the important ones. And you can also find option for the ISSN number and you can also find the option for the URL and DOI. Now these, these things you need to add sometimes. What we can do is also that we can attach the file. If we have downloaded the article, for example, uh, this is the article that I have downloaded you can go to summary for the attach file button and uh, this is the article that attached here and as you attach a file just click somewhere here and say yes and you will see that a pin will appear over here a paper pin and the pdf can be seen in this pdf option so we can directly attach and read the files in our end notes as well because you will have option uh, the basic options over here like you can annotate them you can even comment them uh, i think there's an option for commenting as well let me see if there's an option no no there's no option for commenting but there's an option for markup and annotation sometimes like okay there's an option for commenting over here so if you want to comment you see highlight underline so this kind of basic comments options are available so you can uh, just click do not display the message again and the pdf is indexing indexed and this is one option we can attach a pdf file over here another way by you can add citations here is by uh, importing a file or a folder let me show you how to import a folder so i have a folder that is full of the research papers for instance, let's, let's suppose I have this research papers over here and I press OK and say import all PDFs and uh, if, if I want I can create a group set for this import. OK, let me create a group set. So I will show you the group set as well. And now it is importing all those PDFs that I have downloaded already. I don't know how many PDFs were there but it's, it's importing them. all these pdfs imported in the imported references you can say that we have now eight pdfs are imported in all references we have 12 and it has created a new group for the new research i can rename it rename group and i can say the covid research was this and as you can see that whenever it was possible for the end notes to find uh, the reference it has actually given us the actual reference the pdf has it is it and in, in few cases, it could not find the actual reference. It has not added any reference details over here. But these reference details need to be checked again because they, they may not be foolproof. For example, in this case, you can see that we do not have the title of the article. So we have to add the title ourselves manually. But this is a very convenient option that if you have already got downloaded papers, you can just import and end notes will try to find the best possible references. In our all our, uh, references, we can see that we have 12, but we have created another group. So here we can discuss about the groups. 
you can create a group of your uh, downloaded references uh, either you can create a group by year you can create a group by topic for anything that uh, basically uh, is the reason to convert your references into some kind of different groups uh, you can create according to that for instance i create a new group create a group and name it for leadership paper right and go to my all references here i find all leadership paper i can also use the search option to find the leadership thing so here i can find all the leadership paper select them by using control button okay this one was not leadership this is the leadership and add references to leadership right so you can see in my leadership group i have four references in my covid group i have eight references in a very rare case there is a there is a possibility that we cannot find a reference either using google scholar or directly from the website of the journal this this may happen in case of reports in case of news articles or something like that so we can also manually add a reference how to manually add a reference let me show you for instance uh, i i go to this clear search option go to all references and here the button is add a new reference to the selected group so press plus now this is a journal article who are the authors now i'm adding from this particular research the details of the citation so i can just copy paste here after every author you should have a comma and then the year is 2023 let me type the year the title is either you type the title or you can copy paste what is the name of the journal plus one plus one what is the volume of okay, the plus one does not give us the volume as such what i can do is that i can just copy paste the doi let me see where's the option of doi here doi let me put doi over here this is an open access it does not give us the option but uh, either we can download the pdf and we can see that is if there is some here so 18 8 so in volume we would put 18 and in issue we would put 8 so there is no page number here so what we can do is instead of page number we can just copy paste this e 087 and press the save button so this new reference is added like this you can uh, sort your references for example by author name by the title by year by the journal name you can mark or rate your uh, reference in the search options there are many options for example if you go to uh, like this simple search option you go to advanced search i want to search all those papers that are published in 2020 click on this search option all those papers will be written or any author that contains name lim so that is written some way you will find them here so maybe this is written like this and there are lots of options that you can explore for example in references tab in the groups tab in the library tab there are many tools for example you can also format a paper you can upload a paper and you can format it you can create new filters you can create new output styles as well this is something that will be done at advanced level but for the basic level we will discuss how to uh, import references using different methods and how to use it into word there are many ways that you can create groups for example you can create a simple group that we have already discussed you can create a smart group for the smart group for example i give the author name b a double s i i can see we have a author uh, b a double s bass over here and here i say that author contains b a double s and create a group so you will see that all these authors name would be added to this particular smart group you can create a group set as well 
Now this group said, for example, this my paper is on leadership and COVID. And what I can do is that I can add this group to this particular group set. And this way I can be I will be able to keep a track that all these papers are related to this group set. And then within the group set, I have different groups as well. So here we can also create a hierarchy as such. For example, I create another group set, main group. Or I can pick up the smart group and put it to another group. So we can have like a, a double hierarchy of the groups as well. Now, once we are done with making groups and adding citations, and we have like 13 citations over here, these are 13 citations are added into different groups as well. It's time to see how we can use this uh, references library into our work. So you can directly go to open the word file or you can go to this site while you write option and go to the word processor. The word processor already open will, uh, will be shown here, but I want to work on a new file. So I press control N and open a new file. And here uh, I want to use these references in multiple ways. For instance, like uh, this is a sample line in which I am going to add multiple references for multiple references what we have to do is that we have to select the multiple references either or for example let me show you with multiple references i have pressed the control button and i have selected the multiple citations and here insert selected citation instead of insert selected citation you can also use r2 button by default which is basically a replacement of shortcut key for the insert selected citation. So as you can see that endnotes had automatically added multiple citations. Sometimes you need to refer to multiple paper. Uh, there are some com uh, complex ideas that we have discussed that refers to multiple paper or there is a single idea that is actually referred to by multiple papers. So in both ways, we can add multiple references. This is another sample in we will add one reference and then add another. So let me add the first reference. For instance, I add a reference like this using R2 button. And now I feel that I want to add another reference. So what we can do is just place your cursor within. And you can see that all those uh, references that are index citations added by end nodes, basically they will highlight. Right. So I add one citation and I'm working in the APA style right now. I will show you the other style as well. So just put your cursor within these brackets. Select another citation and uh, for your information, this is just random citations. Obviously, when you're working your own project, you will have the relevant citations and the relevant sentences over here. Insert selected citation or use R2 button. And here you can see that we have added these citations. Sometimes we want to refer to the author as the first person. So when we uh, refer to the author as the first person, what we need to do is that we need to bring the author's name outside, especially in the APA style. So what we can do is that, for example, I have according to, I will write like this, the reference is such that author names are outside the bread and here I add citation. So this author name or at all should be outside the bracket. So what we do is we right click, edit citation, display as author here. And when to add at all because at all is added when there are more than two or three authors. Uh, in APA 7, uh, it is automatically added by using uh, endnotes because it knows that we are using this particular style. The authors, if we want to add uh, a bracket or something, we want to add uh, S apostrophe S and we don't want to, uh, for, uh, to write it manually. In fact, we need to write it manually. Like uh, uh, if I add a reference here, right? And I want to write like across 
theory of leadership is most popular what we need to do is that we need to exclude author so this way you will see that we will be able to add uh, this apostrophe s we can't do it uh, automatically we have to do it manually actually like if we have done uh, this referencing and we want to add some extra information for instance let me add a reference and i want to add the paper a page number or something like that i can go to edit citation more and you want to add a prefix or suffix or page like 23 to 24 press okay and this page number is added like this you can add a prefix you can add a suffix here i want to change the style for example i want to change to the number style just change the style you will see both the in text citations as well as the end references will be changed as well let me bring back to apa or maybe when cover style okay when cover is more like numbers how about select another style and let's see if we can find harvard okay harvard style is here so you can see that different type of styles are available in endnote in fact thousands of styles are available over here Another convenient method for citation offered by endnotes is cite while you write. For example, I can use these curly brackets and I can give the name of the author over here. First, let me turn this instant formatting off on. And what happens is that uh, with the matching references, endnotes give me the option that which one of the reference you want to select. So I insert this particular reference. I can also do cite like this that and give it to 2006. no this is the only one of this is one of the only options and, and i can add this reference like this we can even give the year and and not will return me all those references which are matching with this year and i can insert my selected citation there is an, also another option that you can uh, for example uh, turn instant formatting off so when you are writing something and you add those curly brackets now and notes will not update it instantaneously in fact when we will, we can do it at the end and we can conveniently write something and then later on what we do is that we can update citation and bibliography button and we can insert multiple citations as required by us there are many options that we can explore in and notes for example we can use and notes to maintain our own library we can use and notes for systematic literature review as well uh but few options before i leave i want to explain it to you uh, if you have a traveling library a library that you have not actually uh, imported into endnotes as yet and you just get a research paper or research article that already has endnotes references you can export the traveling library to either the existing endnotes library that you have or a new endnotes library in case you have word citations or citations that are made by the option that is available within the microsoft word Now this option, like insert citation, this option, you can also import that to endnotes. You can also change the preferences over here for figures and tables. You can add references. You can also convert your citation to a plain text. What will happen if you convert to plain text is that all those references. that we have added using the software now they are just plain text you just cannot click on them and you will see that i am clicking on these references but they are not uh, turning into gray as it happened before with the and note references like this now they are just a plain text so that is all about and notes for now uh, and uh, later on we will discuss more uh, so that is all about and notes now and i hope you have learned a few things about it Uh, feel free to comment and add some uh, suggestion that that is all about end notes now and i hope you have learned few things and uh, it will be very convenient for you to use this software for referencing uh, it saves a lot of time it saves lot of uh, mistakes and uh, you can uh, focus upon your research instead of focusing upon your 
ரெஃபரன்ஸு